This is a short story called Green Aliens. I've heard a rumor, Shantae told Brett as they climbed the hill to the market. Not another stupid rumor. He looked down at Titus Hall, wondering why there were so many rumor mongers around these days. This is the weirdest one yet. I heard there are green aliens living up the creek. Brett let that thought sink in, then laughed. Green aliens? I should worry. What will your crazy friends think of next? Bigfoot parties? So who did you hear that from? A girl who lives up the creek. She said she met them in the woods and they live there. Have her checked at behavioral health. There are no green aliens anywhere around here. I don't know, Brett. She seemed so serious and honest. You're gullible as hell. Shantae gave him one more sideways glance before veering away. You never believe anything I say. Might as well find someone else to talk to. Brett stopped at Perry's to get an energy drink and said hi to Aaron, who was restocking the soft drink shelves. Then he left, squinting at the summer sunshine and heading up the creek to see if he could find anyone else to talk to. His friend Jack lived about three miles out, and it was a great day for a walk, not too hot with a slight breeze. He enjoyed the climb up the hill. Before long, he was at the eddy where he took his time scrambling down the bed of rock. Two or three jumps off the tallest rock into the cool depth of Indian Creek, and he was ready to continue on to Jack's, to Jack's place. Jack was in his garage, working on his BMX, when Brett walked up. Jack glanced at him and said, Green aliens. Brett plopped down beside him. Why is everyone up this way talking about green aliens? They're out there, and I'm going to find them. Oh, sure. You can come to ride my old bike. It's ready to go as soon as I get this tire repaired. Right. I'll go, but I do not believe in green aliens. This is just another stupid rumor. A girl walked into the garage. Brett had never seen her before. She had long black hair and wore a real tree camo shorts, shirt, and hat. She had a backpack, black. Ready to go, she asked. Just about five more minutes, Jack said. To Brett, he said, This is Daisy. She's from Oregon. I'm visiting for the summer, she told him, then left the garage to stand in the sunshine next to her pink mountain bike. We're taking her, Brett asked. She's bringing food, so don't knock it, Jack said. Besides, she's the one who knows where they are. Half an hour later, they were a mile into the woods on an old logging road, coasting downhill covered with dust but having a great time. They're down here, she said. She got off her bike and hid it behind a clump of deer brush. Jack and Brett did the same and followed her down toward a tiny creek and behind a hill and past about 300 pine trees to a clearing full of marijuana plants. What the? Brett said, his eyes big and round. This ain't right. Jack said. Just then, two guys that looked Mexican came out of a shelter uphill from the crop. They're my friends, Daisy said with a smile. Green aliens. They use all organic fertilizers and growing methods, no chemicals. Jack and Brett took one more look at the green aliens, turned around, and ran back to their bikes as quickly as they could, leaving Daisy to deal with the green aliens on her own.